Hey guys, so we're going to be going through optimized interfaces today and you're going to ask me how are they optimized? Well don't worry about that, we'll get to it. First of all, I've got this beautiful piece of artwork in front of me that I want to show you and it does explain interfaces very clearly in my opinion. So if we start from left to right, anything can send out a message to, those, to an actor if they have a reference to them. Um, and a message in an interface is a function in the interface. And that is what you send as a message to any of a, a, a list of actors that you have that have implemented the interface. Uh, if they have implemented the interface event, then the event will be called. So it starts here. Uh, any actor, it literally could be like the game mode, uh, anything, the player controller, the player, anyone can send out. Typically, you'd want it to be on a server RPC. Um, and if they have the reference, they send the message to, to that actor. You would typically want a list of actors or you'd get all actors um, that implement that interface. That's a, um, a, a node inside of Unreal I could show you. Um, and if they've in, implemented the event, it will be called. So I hope that makes sense. Let's jump into the engine and I'll show you an example. Okay, we're in the engine. Now to start with, if you're in a third person template like me or you're in a normal, um, you just started a project, you're not gonna have a game mode, a game state, oh, sorry. So I've made this game state off the game state base. And all you need to do then is you need to go to your game mode and you need to set it as a default. As you can see it's the game state base in here, just set it as your game state. And now you can start using this blueprint. Why do we need the game state? Now this comes in to the efficient part of um, what I was talking about. I'm going to make a list of actors and I'm going to make an event, which is a function in blueprints as well, a type of, of, a type of function. And I'm just gonna call it add to a list of actors. Uh huh, and we're going to actually convert this variable into an array. It doesn't need to be replicated because it's in the game state, and every property in the in the game state is accessible to all players. It's it's, it's automatically uh, replicated. So we're going to then do add, and we're going to put this here. Um, I'm going to change this to actor to add, so it's a bit more specific. And you're going to want to check if it's valid because um, you want to do this all the time in Unreal. Otherwise, if if this actor isn't valid, um, meaning it's a null pointer or, yeah, it's a null pointer, um, then the game could crash. So creating an interface, you're going to go to um, Blueprints and Blueprint Interface. I normally preference it with BPI for B, uh, Blueprint Interface. Um, and I'm just going to call this uh, tutorial interface or just interface. Typically, I think you would want to use interfaces um, in many different ways. You could use it for player. You could have a player interface. You could have an enemy interface. You could have a boat interface. You could have all of these types of interfaces. Um, but I've just gone with interface for today um, because this is just a test. Test interface. I'm just going to call it test call. Um, but here you could add inputs and you can add outputs. So say I wanted to pass along a string and call the string test. Um, and where do I want to implement this interface? I'm going to implement it on the third person character as this is what the player in my game in quotation marks will be playing. So it just makes sense to have the interface here. You can start all the interfaces off from input that way. Um, so how would I go about implementing this interface? You go to the class settings and then you go to add and you can just type BPI because you preference your interface like a good guy. And there you go. Ignore that warning. And now we've got this new tab down here on the left in my blueprint section. We have test call and you can implement this interface and that just creates this node like here and you can tell us the implementation of the interface because it has this little map icon in the top right um, and whenever this is called I want to just print string 
And I'm just gonna append it and do interface call and just append the, whatever I sent in the interface call to that. So you can see it working. Now, some this is the receiver. How is it gonna receive this message? Now we've already got the actors set up and we've got the guy who receives the message. We just need the sender. Now, like I was saying, this, cause the, um, you can receive input on this character. I'm just gonna do it off an input key. I'm gonna do it off zero because it makes it very, very simple. And I said earlier that you'd want to do this off a server FB RPC, so I'm gonna preference it with a server RPC. I'm just gonna call it interface call. Interface call S. Right, I'm gonna make it reliable. Actually, I'm not because it's player input and it could be spammed. So um I'm going to get game state to make this even more efficient because this is a episode about efficiency. I'm going to put this on a variable, not rep notify. That was a mistake. And I'm just going to add a switch has authority and make sure that only the server is setting this, but it is a replicated property. So the client will be able to access it. Okay. So I have my game state. I get the game state. I check that it is valid. And I'm going to actually, this is a step that I missed, but we get the game state. And now all of these actors are the actors that want to be in the pool of actors that get sent messages. So you're going to want to just do the add actor, add actor to um, list, our oh, list of actors that, and just get self and add that onto there. So now the player has been added to the list of actors. The alternative to this would be get all actors of class or get all actors of class with interface. These are the two that most typically would be used. This is a very, very poor choice. It's very unoptimized. It is long. It's it's getting all of the list of actors in the world of this type, which could be actor, but you know, that's even more vague. There's going to be tons and tons of actors in a game world. Whereas with this one, at least it's only getting the actors with the interface, but it will have to get all the actors. So it's still sifting through a lot of actors, but this is the most efficient way to basically make the actor or actors that you want the type of actor, like the blueprint third person character, so the players, if you wanted to add all the players to the list of actors, then you have all the list of actors whenever you want to send the message. So all I would have to do is get all actors, um, get actors, the variable I created, and then you would do for each, and you would loop through all these actors, make sure that is valid, and you would call the interface that you created. So ours was test call. And you can tell that it's going to send the um, interface call because this is a message. And you can tell it's a message because it's got an envelope on it. Um, and I'm just going to say uh, test complete. Uh, test successful. Like that. And every time I press O, it's going to call the interface call. Typically, you wouldn't be calling an interface call um, to your character from the character, but this is the easiest way to show the example. I could do it from the player controller. There's many ways that you could do, you could call this interface from, as long as you can access the actors that have either registered themselves or you get actors that have implemented this interface and you have the reference so you can call them and you can call the test call interface or any interface calls that you have. So if I press play and I'm on the client and I press zero, oh, that was from the previous tutorial. I should have got rid of that, but it did work if you saw that. If I press zero, all of the actors who listed themselves are printing test successful. So you can see that all the actors, all three of them, 
are receiving the message and calling the implemented event. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below. I plan to be making a lot more networked centered Unreal videos. So if this is the type of content that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and liking the video because it helps out the channel a lot. Now have a good day.